driving me crazy just looking at it. Combing your hair with your hand gives me feelings I don't understand. Combing your hair with your hand gives me feelings I don't understand. You do this thing when you're biting your lip. It's driving me crazy just looking at it. You know me better than I know myself. I don't want to live in a world without you. Hello and welcome, what's up YouTube and what's good, I'm playing MXZ with you, another video about uh, Warframe, today's video is a special video like always, today's video is gonna be about the Zoo. When it comes to the topic of Zoo, most 99% of players hate the Zoo. why? Because it's complicated, they don't know what to do, they don't know how to build them, they don't know anything, like it's like the most confusing topic, same like the kid guns, everyone is confusing about it and then that's why Papa Hank here to make it so easy for you and after this video I'm... I promise you that just keep watching you're gonna get it all you're gonna understand everything like every single guide I do for you you get the idea so when it comes to Zo, there's four questions you need to ask yourself what is Zo? where to get it and the best Zo combinations and the missing parts like because there is missing parts you cannot find in Brussels people let's start with question number one to answer it to you now some veterans say hey listen man you know, we know what is Zo, bro. What you think? We don't know. Just give us the combination. No, there is 10 uh, new players we need to respect. So, what is Zo? Zoes are modular melee weapons. Players are able to mix and match different combinations of parts. For example, if you take a knife and you add a stick to it, it becomes a spear. Simple. I don't know why I make that. <laughs> but yeah, you get the idea. Alright. So, players, which is you, are able to mix and match different combinations of parts. So there is three parts, right? Resulting in much wider variety of, of base uh, with uh, stats customization for the weapon. What it means this means you can make like uh, make like uh, let's say dagger. You can make a spear. You can make a sword. You can make a sword. Up to you, based on the combination that you're gonna put. So how? What is the parts of the combination? The zone consists of three different components: the strike, which is the the head, the grip, is where you hold. And the link is what uh, like gives it the stat and the power of the of the weapon. All right. So, in general, before I go in details in the components, in general, if you want, you can go. In the most two famous ways you can go is DPS or stats. When we go, when we say about DPS, what I mean is you go full damage attack speed and critical chance. When you go, for example, stats, it's gonna be less DPS. But you're gonna have extra more stats. We're not gonna go more in details in that. And now the next question, second question, which is where to get it. So well, first thing you go to Cetus. Everyone knows Cetus. I mean, it doesn't matter. Even if you are master one, you know what Cetus. Faster travel. You go to Hawk. Craft purchase those. Trade modify crafted those. You're gonna find four uh, like options here. First thing you're gonna have four zo. This is you choose the strike, whatever it is. You choose the grip. You choose the link. All right. You just the zo show uh, like shows up. All right, so now you say, Hank, what is the preview guild? Before, in case you don't know, you need to know. Uh, before, you, you couldn't get the max stats of the Zo unless you guild it. All right, now you get the Zo ready. If you don't want to guild it, you don't need to guild it. The only thing you're gonna get when you guild it is the mastery. Now, the stats not connected with guilded anymore. Before, we, was, we need to guild it to get mastery and stats. Now, all you need to do is level it and you're ready to go to guild it to get mastery. All right. So now the next question is well the parts where you get them. Bro swears my brother and you're going to find all the parts that you need. All right? But there is now some other question I'm going to answer in a second right now. All right. So for example, I'm going to give you listen. There is an ultimate guide I did guys going to be right there now the picture just go search it in my channel go in the channel type so you're gonna find it in details the combination what you do what you don't but but, but, but now i'm gonna give you a, a couple so for zo for example we go like the one you uh, you're gonna see in the video right now let's go I'm, I'm gonna leave you a video speed run and everything and then i'm gonna come back explain it so you get the idea we're gonna use bala bala is a it's a dagger lightweight increases speed of the cause of damage don't worry about that now we go grip grip we're gonna go pay is grip used for the sword machete repair and dagger style weapon it's a light provide increase of speed of course the damage don't worry about that the link my brothers 
We're gonna go for uh, the Vergit uh, to uh, J. A serious thing of those that increase speed and critical chance at the cost of damage and statue uh, chance. There you go. This is the one I've been. Uh, I'm gonna be using uh, in the run that you're going to see right now. And the same one I'm gonna be using for uh, the uh, Sepan. There you go. So you're gonna see two stuff there. You're gonna see the Bala and you're gonna see the Sepan. So you get the idea. Now your question is this about Hank. There is the Knights of Nebarus. Yes, exactly that. So I'm just gonna show you one thing. Plague a queen is bad. So instead of pay, you put plague a queen. Instead of pay, you put plague a queen. The same build, the same everything. Put plague a queen. Now for the Thanos that gonna see the video and like I need to mention it now. So the boy they're watching, they don't say why he didn't do it the other way. So if you want to get a Nikana, very powerful Nikana, this is the one that you need, which is Sepan. My friend is. The most like so powerful Nikana. This is for me. This is the strongest Nikana in the game. All right, just throw like Aquin right here. You're ready to go. It's just gonna consume like less attack speed, but you're ready to go. All right. So if you want dagger, Bala is the way to go. So all you need to change here is just just the, the head, bro. Just you're changing just the head. All right. If you want dagger, there you go. All right. If you want now to go from distance because we're gonna be using. Exodia Contagion Cantigon. I call it Cantigon, but it's Contagion. All right. So you're gonna be using Dark Ram for the players that don't, so, because some players gonna be pissed that I didn't use the uh, Dark Ram or the Dihat. So I'm gonna be using Dark uh, Dark Ram right here. Okay. So the, in the regular days when we don't have uh, Knights of Nebaros, we're gonna be using, let's say, for example, we're gonna be using a Sikala, uh, and uh, you, you get the idea. We're using Sikala most of the time when uh, we're using uh, when we're using the uh, Dork uh, Ham because we wanna make it like uh, you know Sith, and you, you get the idea, guys. All right, but for you now, you're gonna be using Plague Queen. It's so freaking good. Alright, so if you want to make the weapon not critical weapon, you want to make it status weapon, you just change instead of Varjit to J, you go Varjit J2. There you go, it's gonna add you uh, stats as you can see right here, my friend. Enough from this talking. Now, you when you want to get the grip, Plague a Queen, you will not find it right here in the Bros. Wares, my friend. You will not find it, you're gonna find all the stuff, but you will not find it. As well, you will not find Exodia Contagion or Exodia Cantagon as I call it. Uh, so where you need to go right now, my friend, is you need to leave Cetus and you need to go to Deimos. If you don't have Deimos unlocked, you need to get it like fixed and unlocked because this is very, very, very important. You just uh, start shard and my friend, you go to Deimos and Kumbish, let's go Knights of Never. Some, some players out there would say, Hank, we don't need any of this. Just show us this. No, there is new players. Yeah, they need to learn. So this is the question number four. Missing parts where to get them. Simple as this. You do like this. Kaboom. You first travel and you go to daughter. All right. So you come to daughter here and you see Nebarus Treats. You enter there and you scroll all the way down, my friend. And there you find the stuff that you need. The Plague Aquin Blueprint. This is the one you need. Get as much you can. How much you want to get from this? I would say take at least four. Because you're gonna make one for Sepan, you're gonna make one for Durkham, you're gonna make one for uh, Bala, and you're gonna have one extra for, you know, maybe something uh, else in the in the future. So you have uh, the idea. This one is very nice. Take like a couple of these. Plague Creepath is very, very good weapon as it deals damage, uh, as it deals viral damage as a base. But I'm, he I'm not here to tell you about uh, like uh, uh, combinations of Zou. That's... I, that's why I lead you to the video earlier. Exodia Cantigon, air melee projectile damage increased by 400% after traveling 30 meter. My brothers, you get as much you want from this. First, you need it. Second, you sell it after the uh, the Knights of Nebarus goes away. So that's where you get the missing part. So how you collect the mother tokens, the best way to collect mother tokens and so on. You just go bounties and I would advise you uh, to go with uh, this one, like level 5. If you cannot handle it and it's so hard for you, just go with uh, endless strip mining. Look look how many guides, guys, in uh, one guide. Alright, so now, my friend, uh, what's left is I will leave you now with the speedrun of what you can do with the Zoe. I'm gonna leave you with speedrun. This is a boosted. I will show you guys uh, something in this video that you what you see is not what it is. 
you will learn something very important today. I'm gonna leave you with this, and then I'm gonna come back to you. Let's go. Steel Path. We gonna burn it down. Burn it down. We gonna burn it down. Burn it down. I killed it. It's murder. 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 Go crazy, berserker. 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 Go crazy, berserker. I killed it. It's murder. Go crazy, berserker. I killed it. It's murder. Go crazy, berserker. I killed it. It's murder. Go crazy, berserker. I killed it. I killed it. Tapping in steel path, regular day.
warning, get ready to invade. Alright, uh, welcome back. So you watch the boom 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 damage cap, two billion damage, one billion something. Yeah, you saw it. And it without combo, my friend. But my friend, let me tell you something. That's very, very boosted damage. And you will not be able to do that in this synergy. This with this. Remember, helm this with this and that with that. So for the players that uh, want to see it again slowly because you know it was a bit fast. Here you go, my friend. This is the Help Me God. We're going to be using Pointed Wind, the Organ Shatter, uh, Condition Overload, uh, Corrupted Charge. A lot of fans will be pissed about this one. Blood uh, Rush, Critical Chance, Stack with uh, like a Combo Multiplier, Primed Fever Strike, 150% Toxin, Gladiator Might, North Wind for Cold, Sacrifice Steel for Critical Chance, and Exodia Canty Gone. I call it. It's Contagion. Bear with me. I can name it whatever I want. It's my game, right? So. The second one is gonna go to the corrosive. This is the one for the corrosive. Pointed wind, organ shatter, blind, uh, corrupt condition, uh, primate uh, strike, uh, gladiator might, uh, shocking touch, and uh, sacrificial steel. What we change here instead of the cold, we just put a shocking touch. In case you don't know, toxin with the uh, toxin with cold, viral, toxin with electricity, corrosive. Easy, easy, exodia, cutting on some veteran. Yeah, really, bro. If they don't know that, they don't need to play the game. No, no, they can't play the game, just you need to bear with them. Alright, Eidolon. 
So, Blood Rush, uh, Pressure Point, the Sacrificial Steel, Gladiator Might, uh, Shocking Touch, Organ Shatter, Corrupt Charge, Molten Impact. Now, again, for the new players, uh, Heat with Electricity creates Radiation, and that's what the Eidolon likes uh, to take. I know, you, many of you, take seriously, bro, I'm gonna use a Sifa, I'm gonna use a Zoe in Eidolon. What's wrong with this guy? I know, but some players like to do things different, like challenge themselves in a different way, and including uh, me. So, now, my friend, this is the build. So your question here, why we use condition overload in this uh, condition? Let me tell you something. If you're going, for example, to damage cap, you're going to be using certain frames that are going to be boosting the damage very high. You're going to be using Exata Whisper with, uh, let's say, Breach Surge. You're going to be using um, uh, like Mirage with Breach Surge. You're going to be using Banshee with Surge. You're going to be using things, all right, that you don't get so close. Right, you, you're not gonna be so close. Like you, you can't just go and level cap with Nidus and hello, you know what they're talking about. So you're gonna get so close to enemies. Condition overload, but it does melee damage per statue type effect on the target. That's where comes our baby boy, the epitaph. All right, the epitaph, my friend, is right there to fill up that, ga uh, that gap. And the sedu, uh, my friend, is the thing. Some will ask, can you show us the sedu build? There you go. I answered your question already. There you go, it doesn't have even the thing. And this is the Epitaph build again. Alright, so, back... Uh, wait, hold on. Back to uh, Bala. Alright, the next thing Thanos would say out there, because I need to answer them all so they don't command something silly. And So, Corrupt Charge. Why we use Corrupt Charge? Because in this condition exactly, you can't really get so close to enemies. You saw, we capped, we damage capped with Corrupt Charge. What else you want? What, what else you want? What, 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 what is it that you want? That's it. I, I damage capped, bro. You change it wherever you want. Because a lot of them say, why initial combo, bro? Just go, boom, 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 boom. 12 combo, you're gonna do more damage. More damage than cap. Hello? So, you get the idea. But, 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 they are right. They are not wrong. They are right. I have to, I hate to say it. I di yes, but Hank, wait, you just damage capped with it. Why they are right? I will tell you because the reality is different. So this is the re this is your reality, my friend. Condition overload, vicious frost, the quickening, and blood rush, and prime uh, primate fever strike, and gladiator might, and organ shatter, and sacrificial steel, and exodia contagion or contagion contagion, whatever it is. So now the question is where it goes? Uh, hang the two cool multipliers. In reality, my friend, if you're gonna play your normal frame, your normal daily frame, you're not going to cap with specific synergy. This is the build that you need and the only build you need to just go and play and have fun with your game and no worry at all. The only thing is if you want, for example, you are viral, you want to switch to corrosive, you switch uh, frost to cold. If you want to go like uh, whatever you want, you, you just switch frost and it will go through any element that you really uh, want. Now, let's say you watch the video now. For a while, like you've been watching the video, you just build everything and I know I can see the future, oh, you know. So, you're just gonna get the build and you're not gonna do the damage that you expected and the damage gonna be so bad and then you're gonna come back to the channel and you're gonna say, Ah, oh, Hank, listen, 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 you should provide us with so bad build, bro. You know why? Because your brain's stuck in the level cap, so let me teach you how to use the bala. All right. The Bala, my friend, is very, 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 very simple. Let me pop the keyboard so you understand. All right, the keyboard is here. Now I'm gonna explain. Look at this, space. I'm jumping, right? All right. So, how you do it if you, if you jump, it says travel, right? If you jump, this doesn't work, all right? If you jump and hit, it doesn't work. All right, if you jump and hit, it doesn't work. You see this? If you've been doing this, and it's not working for you, so it will never work for you. Why? Look at the mouse. See the right click, the aim. So, jump, aim, hit. Jump, aim, hit. Jump, aim, hit. What? I've been doing it wrong all the way. Oh my god. Thank you, Hank. You said we just learned something today. And the veteran. And the veteran goes like, really, man? Really, man? So, yeah. Jump, hit, double jump, hit, double jump, hit. But wait a second, it's barely doing any damage. Bro, what is this? Bro, what is that damage cap and all that? 
Return to reality, my friend. So, uh, now you know how to use the weapon, but that's not it. That's not it, my brother. Let me upgrade the weapon for you. Naromon, my friend. Why are you going to be using Naromon? Naromon, my baby brother, is going to be melee combo counter. Now, DK is while out of combo every by 5 every second uh, instead of depleting completely. Why you need that, I will show you. So, remember why we're using Bala, using our baby blood rush. Critical chance, tax to combo multiplier, baby. Yeah, you get the idea, correct. So, there we go. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do some red crits. How are we going to do some red crits? We're going to do some crits. Like... Collecting some combo, there you go. Collecting some combo, kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Easy breezy, easy breezy, easy breezy, easy breezy. Now your question is, but Hank, if we jump in the air and hit it, would we lose combo? Very good question. No, you don't. So all you have to do, my friend, is you're gonna be jumping in the air. There you go. You're gonna be jumping in the air, my brother, and then. Just fill up some combo, jump again in the air, and fill up some combo, jump out again in the air, and fill some combo. Kaboom, kaboom, you see your combo down there? It's 12, it will not go anywhere. Kaboom, red crits all day. Hmm. But wait, Hank, it's not strong enough. We need to make it stronger. Yes, my brother. That's why comes our baby Epitaph. Epitaph will proc for you stats. You can play around with this guy. Heat Blast uh, Viral. And this weapon is so, so awesome. You can use Nukor if you don't have it. And it's very cheap. It's like 30 platinum. We can get Epitaph. And one of the greatest weapons in the game. So, we have Sedu as well. can proc Viral for you and so on. But why, Hank? Let me show you why. Condition Overload, remember? So now we're going to get combo for Red Crits. And we're going to get Condition Overload to proc for us more damage. Oh! Yeah, exactly, my friend. So that's what we're going to do. So here we go. We broke this, guys. We're going to be using Sedu. There you go. And we're going to be using Epitaph. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. We're going to fill some combo. Let me fix some combo. I hope, I hope they don't die before the combo finish, man. Because they will. I am, I'm sure they will. So kaboom, kaboom. All right. There is some enemies left. So there you go. Check this out. You get the idea? There you go. They're gone. So, my friend, enemies in front of you, Naromon, combo, ta 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 combo. Epitaph, 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 Condition Overload, Red Crits, and whoosh, jump in the air and slash everything uh, easy. So now, but Hank, in the damage cap, you didn't do that. Yes, you are right, I didn't do that. So, you get the idea. So, with this, you can even cap more than the cap, you know? If there is damage beyond cap, with this, you can go beyond the cap. You get the idea. I did cap. To prove something that you don't need this to cap, but you will need a lot of synergy. All right, and you need synergy to cap, so you get the uh, the whole idea. So now let me show you why I use Nidus in the example. I use Nidus in similar com now example for one reason and one reason only, so I don't boost the weapon in any way that would corrupt the like. You understand? I didn't even use the corrosive from larva uh, burst. So steel charge for melee weapon and damage increase because it's a melee weapon. Uh, Ar Arcane Fury uh, on critical hit 60% chance for 180% melee damage to melee weapons for 18 seconds. Arcane Strike for 15% chance to 60% attack speed to melee weapons for 18 seconds. Uh, and of course, and if you were looking for a pet, what pet, what companion you would use, we're gonna go for Panzer Profiler. Panzer Profiler is the best pet in the game. If you use Equilibrium, it will help you with the mar uh, Martyr uh, Dimbosis or whatever. It's gonna help you with proccing viral on the enemies if you're using Corrosive. It's gonna help you with everything, my brother. It can actually... Yesterday, someone told me it killed my Lich. <laughs> so this is the build for it. And how you get it, it's gonna be up there, up there, up there. It's gonna pop up a link right now, up there. And it's gonna show you uh, how to get it. Just click there or just open it in a new window and uh, so on. So now what's left for me to show you is the step one before I forget. Uh, the step one we build that we used in the profit uh, take. All right. So this is Exodia Divorce. You know that build. All right. So this is Exodia Contagion. Exodia Contagion. The Trickwheel uh, Glaive. We're gonna be using Primate uh, Pressure Point. The Gladiator Might. Wait, you skipped the ribbon. Uh, Primate Fever Strike, Organ Shatter, Shocking Touch, and North Wind, and Sacrificial Steel. We're gonna be uh, proking Cold, Slash, Puncture, Impact, Corrosive. So, you're uh, good to go. So, the Riven is critical damage, critical chance, uh, duration, and so on. If you don't have the Riven, what would you change it with? Bro, I don't know, but... Just throw something, bro. It's a profit taker. You will take care of him. 
just throw something in there wherever you want. You want to throw spoiled strike for more damage. You want to... Up to you, really. It doesn't matter. You can actually go without a ribbon. You can just go without a ribbon. I don't care what you put. Just put anything you want. I really can't think of something that... Quickening. Go quickening. A more attack speed. Let me take off that uh, keyboard. Uh, go more... Uh, put another, like, for example, heat here. Create another thing. Create gas and magnetic. Up to you, bro. Play with it. Play with it. Because, Profit Taker, I cannot give you the best elements here. Because... There is a reason. Because it depends on your loadout. Depends on the approach. Your Zenith, what ability, what what uh, mods, what uh, elements it has. Your Nuker, what elements it has. Or whatever. Whatever the weapon you're using, the combination, it's up to you. But this is the build. So what you're going to play with is you're going to play with the element mods. The uh, Shocking Touch, the North Wind, the Fever Strike. That's what you're going to play. So play with them however you want. And Sefan Krita, it's just extra crit and so on but it doesn't change a lot bro i do a lot of damage to the thing you don't need to worry about that my brother this is how content creator should be in warframe <laughs> you learned everything you learned about the weapons you learned how to get the zoe you learned what the, what is zoe how to get uh, the zoe, com zoe combination some of them but the rest you're gonna see in the other video the missing part where you get them and how you get them and how you make platinum out of them you learn how to use it, you learn how to cap, damage cap with it. I mean, what else you want to learn? What else you want to learn? All you have to do is just go to that video I showed you in the beginning of the video. Just go there, check the combinations and learn about it. And that's it, you're capped for Zo. That's it. You watch Hank Payne, you get it all, baby. The full pack, full, full, full pack of the, the weapon capabilities. And since you liked the last video of how I did it, so I'm going to keep on like this. Every weapon, taking it in every content and slaying every content with it, that whatever you like it. So you get the idea. So what's left for me guys to say is thank you so much for your amazing support. Big love. Love you all. Thank you so much guys for your amazing, 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 unstoppable support. You guys have been so amazing to me. We have a Discord link on the description. If you read the in Discord. Uh, Discord. <laughs> so yeah guys. Stay safe. Like. Comment. Share with your friends. Don't be selfish guys. Don't be selfish. This is very important information you need to share with your friends. Thank you guys. And uh, peace.